Welcome to Visuals Kingdom, I'm your host Nick Metzger and today I'm going to show you how you can place an object into a scene and make it stick to another object. So basically this is the first of a three part tracking tutorial with After Effects, so make sure to stay until the end um, where you can find the part two. Motion tracking works with everything. That means you can place either a text or a logo or an image or whatever you want into a scene, it doesn't matter. But be aware that in this tutorial, um, which is called motion tracking, it works best with 2D scenes. So as soon as you start moving into the C axis and go 3D, um, it won't work that great. But now let's jump right into After Effects and see what we can do here. Okay, so in After Effects I got my shot, which is basically a, a pan shot in our office. And now imagine someone wants to find the tripod and he can't see it. He must be really stupid to not see that, but it's here. And um, because of that, I want to insert a location pin. Now, if I insert the location pin into my scene, and let's say I'm gonna put it um, over the tripod, like so. Maybe scale it a bit down. So now I got my location pin um, positioned over the tripod and now the problem is when I play that back you can see that it doesn't stick but I want to make it stick over the tripod. Um, Alright so to do so I'm gonna create a new null by right clicking and go to new null object and just to stay organized I'm gonna rename this to track. Okay, then I'm gonna go over to the right side here where you have your effects and presets and some other stuff and you, but you want to go to the tracker. Now you see that it's grayed out. So make sure that you select your original video source. If you now click track motion, um, you will see the motion source, which is your original clip, C0001. Then your current track which in my case is Tracker 3, but in your case it will be Tracker 1 because I played around with the um, tracking before and made two other tracks. Then the track time will stay transformed. And if you have uh, any rotation in your clip or scaling, you want to check these two boxes. But in my case, um, it's only the position I need to check. So as soon as I hit the track motion button, you can see really, really small over here that we got these two little rectangles. So what these are is basically they are telling the tracker where you want, um, which position you want to track. So the inner rectangle <coughs> is to select the object, which um, in an optimal case is a high contrast object. So the tripod is black in front of white, so that works great. And uh, the outer rectangle is the rectangle which scans um, is the area which will be scanned to make sure that this inner rectangle will stay where it is. Um, the larger you make it, the longer it takes, but I think this will be fine for my track. Don't make it too large, but also not too small. And now um, I simply need to hit this button, which is analyzing forward. And I'm gonna maybe make a little time lapse out of that because it takes some time. All right, now it's finished. So I'm gonna go back to the frame where I started the track, which is this one, and gonna hit the analyze backward button. All right, that's finished as well. So right now you can see all these little, basically keyframes um, on which you can see that the rectangle stuff here um, sticks perfectly to. So what you want to do now is make sure that, make sure again that the target is your track and then simply hit apply. Now what you got, I can actually delete tracker one, or one and two because these are um, the tracks I made before the tutorial. 
Um, so now what you got is all these little keyframes. And make sure to not move them, because this makes sure uh, these keyframes make sure that your object that you will place into the scene will stick to the tripod. Now I'm gonna take, um, I'm just gonna scroll to the to the position where the location pin is just above the tripod, like so. And then simply I'm gonna parent it to the track that it has the same movement as you can see, as you can see here at the uh, null object. So you can simply press this little spiral and drag to the track and you're done. Now when you scroll through your shot, you can see that, uh, that the location pin will um, stick perfectly to the tripod. Now let's say you want to upgrade that thing a bit, um, you can, you could probably animate your position let's say um, you want to make it float like so maybe that's a bit too crazy but I'm still gonna try something out now you can see that the uh, location pin is going up and down. So you can basically animate your location pin as you would like, as long as it is parented to the null. And that's actually already it. It's as easy as it looks, and you can try it with nearly every shot which is um, based on a 2D on a 2D camera. So as soon as you start, again, as soon as you start in the, start moving into the C-axis, it won't work that great. But that's why we got another tutorial for it. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. Now, as I said in the beginning, we have uh, two more parts about tracking in After Effects. The next part will be mask tracking and you can watch it right here. So go and click that now.